Bonjour à Paris. This morning I'm going to do a walking tour of historic Paris beginning at the Notre Dame Cathedral. So stay tuned and come along with me. So here's the line to get into Notre Dame. It's free to get in. It's just that A, they have to do a security check, and B, I think they only allow a certain number of people in at a time. When you get to about 30 yards from the entrance to the church, just a little off center on the ground, you'll see this marker. This is called Point Zero, and it is the center of France. These are the back walls of the choir, which we'll see on the other side in a minute. The outside of the choir represents many biblical scenes. This first one is the resurrection of Jesus appearing to Mary. Below these depictions, each niche marks the tomb of a bishop. There are centuries of them surrounding the choir. So while I was over on the side where you go in to go upstairs, I looked at the sign and the information, it's 422 stairs. Now I think that you can go to one observation deck and not go all the way up. And uh, I think the 422 is if you go to the very highest one, but just be aware of that before you come. So I've completely walked to the other end of the park from Notre Dame and I'm going to cross the street directly behind it to the deportation memorial. This is a memorial to the 200,000 French who were victims of the Nazi concentration camps. So this memorial was designed to immerse you in the experience as you come down these stairs 
you essentially become a prisoner surrounded by walls. This hallway is lighted with 200,000 crystals representing the 200,000 that were lost. These triangles are reminiscent of the patches that inmates were required to wear. And each one bears the name of a concentration camp. So you may not realize it, but Notre Dame is actually on an island in the middle of the Seine River. And so we're gonna now cross the river and we're headed over to the left bank. of the Shakespeare and Company bookstore here in Paris, very close to Notre Dame and right on the river. It's very well known here in Paris and it's a tourist destination. It's been here since the 1920s and was actually opened by an American. Authors like Ernest Hemingway and Ezra Pound have been patrons of the bookstore and met Sylvia Beach who was the original owner. Sylvia also published Ulysses by James Joyce when he was having trouble finding a publisher. So this is a pretty neat place. So we're now in the Latin Quarter of Paris, walking along Rue de Saint Severin. And we're right next to this beautiful big Gothic church. And tucked back in here, you can see this tiny narrow house. Number 22 Rue de Saint Severin. It's this uh, narrowest house in Paris. You can see how the street slopes into the center where these lighter blocks are. This is remnants of the old sewer system where everything just went into the middle of the street and eventually went into the Seine River. There are 15 of these panels going all the way around. And together they represent over 1,000 different scenes, mostly from the Bible. I think it was worth the 10 euros, especially if you like churches or if you like stained glass. It's one of the most stunning churches I think I've ever seen. So definitely give it a thought. And it's very close to Notre Dame, so you can do it in the same day.